Hi everyone, welcome back to Salt and Burn This, a Supernatural Rewatch podcast. My name is Sammy. I'm Valerie. Yeah. Okay, is somebody dismantling something in your apartment? It's upstairs? It, it could be upstairs and it could be, I, I believe they are also remodeling the apartment below me. Um, okay. So I'm getting it from like both <laughs> wow. sides right now. Because it sounds like someone is like dismembering a body in your apartment, but that's it, okay. Yeah, it's usually like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've like in in the last week, one of my downstairs downstairs neighbors moved out. One of my upstairs neighbors across the hall from me moved out. One of them just across the hall from me moved out, and I didn't even know it. You know, wow. I was like, I heard a bunch of thumping on the stairs this morning, and I ran into like the movers. And I was like, Hey, you guys moving out? And they're like, No, moving in. I was like, Oh my god, when did this guy ever move out? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so lots of uh, I guess it's spring cleaning. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, it makes for a lot of, a lot of, it's funny, I was telling, because I went to Michael Trano's birthday thing yesterday. Yeah. And I was like telling some of the people there, it's like, okay, I have this amazing apartment. It's huge. <laughs> it gets the best natural light. I can see a fucking castle through my bedroom window. <laughs> but the noise <laughs> factor. My, yeah. Oh from, man. From upstairs, from outside, from the club below. It's like it's like I'm always asking myself, is it worth it? <laughs> right. Right. People, you know, when people hear me kind of moaning a little bit about living on the third floor, I'm like, yeah, but no one above me. I'm I get to be the stomp walker that people oh, complain about. Yeah. There's nobody above me. I mean, I get the noise on the stairs because my apartment goes right up against the stairs. Yeah. So I hear people coming and going, which has been driving me crazy because the dog wakes up at, mm. you know, at three or four o'clock. If I've got one of my neighbors, I think is in the medical field. So they're up and out super duper yeah. early, but then so is my dog. Yeah. Cause she wakes up and barks. I'm like, oh my God. And it's not just like, woof. Uh -huh. It's, it's, I have to warn you. There's somebody trying to break into the apartment. I'm like, oh, dog. Yes. The hardships, the hardships. Yeah. So I have been on a, um, a streak of watching new things finally <laughs> like because i never watch new things i just stick to the the comfort zone of re-watching old yes. shows over and over again yeah i binged inventing anna which is that that heiress the fake heiress it's a yes it's i a mean fictionalized, the fake it's a fictionalized series about the fake german heiress anna sorkin slash delvey so good it. It's she's so amazing good. oh my god <laughs> at first i was like oh her voice you know first i was like and I, what's her accent you know fix it fix it but that's who she is it's, yeah 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 it's, no, it's like really a weird valley like german valley girl thing i just i don't yep. know but yeah. <laughs> i don't know brilliant oh i loved it i binged yeah. it too i binged right on through it i was like and that's it <laughs> yep yep yeah. Um, and then I watched uh, along the same vein, the Tinder swindler. I watched that as oh well. My God. <laughs> I watched that as well. But oh, so good. So yeah. good. It's so maddening. So maddening that he's, uh, he's still out there, right? Yeah. Still out there. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, they did. Cause I looked, I looked him up afterward. Um, they did <laughs> ban him. Like once the documentary came out, the, um, hinge and Tinder and all them banned him from the, from the thing. From the platforms. Okay. Yes. Cause at the end of the documentary, it does say that he like got right back on Twinder, uh, Twinder, Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, once the documentary came out, then Tinder was just like, nope, gone. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And Good. now the, uh, the real diamond guy like the guy that mm -hmm. he said he was the son of, their family is suing him basically <gasps> for like defamation and being like, oh, you yes. profited off of our name when we have nothing to do with you. And you slandered us in the process. Yes, I exactly. mean, they, he didn't slander. He brought their name down just by association. Exactly, wow. exactly. And, I, and a couple of the articles said that they would use the money to help the victims of his people. Nice. I hope that nice. they hold true to that. I hope that they do. But did did you happen in along that same vein? Did you take a look at um, 
what is it, I think it's called The Worst Roommate. It's on uh-uh. Netflix. Uh-uh. It's a different quote roommate each episode. Oh, so um, is it like a docu series kind of thing? Yeah, it's it's almost exactly like Tinder Swindler. Okay. It's um it's it's people who uh, either are like you know mass murderers and they're your roommate oh, or they're but serial they're, they're real squatters. stories though. Yes, yes, yes. They're real stories. They're real stories. Um, they're what's great is that they're not reenactments. They're not those cheesy reenactments. Although okay. it is done with um, drawings instead oh, of actual mm-hmm. people reenacting. It's done with drawings um, and interviews with real people. Um, and one of them is. Uh, along the same lines of the Tinder swindler, although it's somebody who puts himself out as a roommate. Uh, and then he basically becomes a serial squatter and takes over your apartment. Oh, wow. And doesn't leave and will bankrupt you because he doesn't pay his part of the rent. And the reason you got a roommate is because you need the rent money. Yeah, yeah. And then so you get evicted and, you know, you lose everything and he just eventually moves on. Oh, my God. You know, just take a peek. The first one yeah. is about... Um, this like grandmother uh, who turns out to not be like you know a nice old lady but even as she's like arrested and being carted off she's like i'm a nice old lady you know and you're like oh my god no you're not (laughs) you murdered people and dismembered them in your house you know oh my god (laughs) yes (laughs) yes that that would definitely be a bad roommate oh Um, no i have to tell jake this because (laughs) i don't know if you know much about his housing situation now but one of his roommates it's like the newest one that joined the trio um, wow. after a few months, it was like around COVID time, like brought his grandmother from Ecuador or Puerto Rico or some somewhere. Um, doesn't really speak a lot of English, but brought her in and said, Hey, can my grandma live here for a little bit? And I said, she's still there. <laughs> so two oh, years later, oh she's still there. <laughs> oh my God. Season three, episode two, the kids are all right. Dean drops in on an old girlfriend he hasn't seen in nine years. Weird. She has an eight-year-old son who sure reminds (laughs) Dean of Dean. Weirder. (laughs) The neighborhood kids are suddenly different. Frighteningly different. (laughs) (laughs) Written by Sarah Gamble and directed by Phil Screecha. Good show. The whole time I was getting ready to watch this, all I could think, all I could sing was like, your mom is all right. Your dad is all right. They just seem a little weird. Um, so I had to kind of get that out of my head because oddly enough, the kids are all right, but they're not. Oh, no. The kids are, as, as you have said, and even they, like the Supernatural team have said, kids are fucking creepy. <laughs> and they really <laughs> The number of times I wrote, this. yeah, the number of times I wrote creepy in my notes yeah. It's like every scene that had a kid in it, I was like, and then the kid was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the kid did something creepy. And oh yeah. my gosh, that kid is creepy. Uh, I liked this episode. I really did. Um, mm-hmm. There's uh, there's intrigue in it, you know, because Sam goes and is doing his own investigation on, mm-hmm. on his storylines. And it's, um, you know, and Dean has his own what if moments. Mm-hmm. Um, and still there's like the monster of the week. Yeah, it was, I thought it was good. I thought it was an all-around good supernatural Yeah, episode. I did too. Um, I was also very impressed with Jensen's face acting in this one. <laughs> you know, his little yes. faces. His just... little... You could actually see <laughs> the gears grinding in his head as he yeah. tried to figure things out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny because, you, know, you know, the caption says, you know, but the kids... Uh, there's something off with the kids and it's like yeah but it's dean it's fun watching dean figure it out like him notice that the kids are off you yeah. know <laughs> well not even like, just that just like all the other things that he's trying to uh, no yeah <laughs> deal with to process yeah inv- investigation yeah yeah okay so a recap opens it's a pretty basic recap they're just gonna show clips the, of you know monster killing they show the deal again and the stipulations the or the fine print of the deal yep and the uh blondie. blondie chick with the demon day demon blade yep and once again sam saying i don't care what it takes i'm gonna get you out of this right so i wonder what's gonna happen <laughs> um so this one map quest uh cicero indiana mm-hmm. never been there but it is a real town i was very happy to read that 
no need to research. Although I did, I was like, what is it about Cicero? And nothing. It's just, it's just a place. Yeah. There's, there's right. nothing, nothing ironic or, um, no, just ironic. <laughs> My brain went full stop. Right there, <laughs> and in our now, we have a mother walking out of her house. Her daughter does not want to stay at her dad's place tonight, much to her, their, like everyone's surprise. Cause right. she usually loves being at dad's. Yeah. Right. But dad's um, pissed, though. He, he's like, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't keep her. She pitched a fit. I know. Poor you dad. Know? And, yeah. And I felt bad because he was, like, so either hurt or upset that he just, like, got in the car and left. There yeah. was no, you know, okay, honey, we'll try again next time or sweet dreams. Right. Sorry. You know, he was just like, to the both of you, I wash my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the kid also says, like, there are monsters there. Please save me from the monsters or keep the monsters away, something. I hate daddies. They're, yeah, it's awful. It's monsters. Yeah. I was like, and, and so it totally flipped my way of thinking. Like, as soon as I was like, wow, poor dad, he was really hurt, you know. And then she, and then the daughter was like, I don't want to go there. I'm scared. There's monsters. I was like, oh, that son of a bitch. <laughs> <You know? laughs> what did daddy do? You know? <laughs> well, he was building a rocking horse for her. Building so. her what a rocking a monster. Horse, <laughs> right? Like, He's got a wood shop in the garage. And not only that, it's like one o'clock at night and he was still working on it. Even yeah. though his daughter just pitched a fit and left, mm -hmm. you know, little girl, um, he still was working on it. And I thought, oh, gosh. <laughs> and, you know, even even just looking around the garage, you know, you still see signs of his daughter there. There's like a pink biker, you know, biking helmet, not biker's helmet, mm -hmm. but, you know, pink little. So she's part of his life. You know, she spends time at that house, you know. And you also... <laughs> Not just get a feeling, but you totally know that something is watching over his shoulder because the camera is literally like creeping behind the car and looking at yeah, him from that, that behind. Yeah, that POV, that point of view yes. where it's like handheld. Yeah, yeah something yeah. or someone is watching him. Yeah. And as he's leaving, yeah. his table saw turns on by itself. Red flag number one. <laughs> yes, I, I hate it when that happens, you know. But yeah. my first thought is to go up next to it and yeah. uh, not, investigate. not just up next to it but he's like <laughs> bending <laughs> down like leaning over it or into it and it's a table saw it's a blade spinning naked like right there but he turns off he ends up leaning down and turning the switch off it's like the kill switch he turns it off it stops spinning and he goes back to leave the garage again flips out the light and as soon as he turns the light off in the garage click on turns the uh, saw Again. Yes. Click. He turns on the light. <laughs> Red flag number two. <laughs> yes. And he kind of looks around. He's looking. He's like, all right, you know, who's here? Doesn't see anybody. And so he goes back to investigate the table saw. And this time while he's bent down looking at it, there's like this whoosh. He's like rushed by something. Mm -hmm. And he turns. He's like, ah. And this thing, like, we don't know what it is, just manages to fling him up onto the table saw that's spinning and it slices right through his spine up through his chest in this really horrific really oh, bloody i'm wow. surprised surprised they didn't use that as the splatter you know as know. the splatter moment i know it was like wow wowie yeah you that, could that... hear the crunch of the table saw going through his spine rib cage yeah. sternum you know <laughs> it was it was bad i mean it, it's Very now well typical <laughs> yes it's now typical supernatural but it was like Whoa. well it is now there's this is starting to become i guess canon because we had the drano incident last week mm. which was right. like <laughs> Ooh, yeah yep just watch this that one, i know so it's like Sarah and Eric are now just like, sweet. <laughs> We're going like, for it, man. <laughs> We're going exactly. for it. Oh, my God. It was it was awful, but it was amazing. And then the camera looks up to the rocking horse, which has now just been finished miraculously. Yeah. Which doesn't really come into play later on. It no, was like, <laughs> I, I was like, what? How? I was like, was it a gaffe or was it something intentional that, you know, maybe is going to play out later? And it doesn't. All right. The title splash. Here we go. Yes. 
Sam is in a cafe. He's on the phone with Bobby, looking up some sort of crazy inscription and talking about they can't translate it. We don't know what's going on, but he's got to cut the call short because Dean walks in. So right. he right. is still on the side trying to figure out this demon deal. Yeah. How to, it's against, a demon dispelling yeah, thing. Dean's, yeah. Dean's uh, wishes. wishes. Or, or yeah. in spite of Dean's warning that he will perish. Die. Yes, he's, 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 well, I mean, he hangs up with Bobby saying we can't let Dean burn in hell. And Dean's like waving a newspaper. He's like, ah, <laughs> we got something. We got a mm-hmm. case. And he's like, hey, who was that on the phone? And Sam lies. Badly. He lies he's again, he's yeah. not good on, on, on <laughs> he's the not good on his feet. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just saying, hey, it was Bobby or whatever. He's like, oh, I just ordered a pizza. And, you know, he's Inside sitting of a in restaurant. a diner. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And and Dean tells Sam about, you know, look at this headline, you know, we've got a case. There's a guy who, you know, accidentally killed himself by falling onto his table saw. And Sam's like, yeah, tragic, but, you know, an accident. Definitely not a case here. And then finally, after some pushing, Dean is like, OK, fine. Okay. There's actually <laughs> this booty call that I want to go visit because I, you know, hooked up with her eight, eight years ago. Years ago. <laughs> But clearly made an impression on her. It was like the the week that the best weekend, you know, the bendiest called, oh, she's a, weekend, the bendiest weekend. She was, she was a, a yoga, yoga instructor. instructor. I have to admit. All right. So Horn Dog Dean is back now. Granted, he's only got a year to live. He is living out his deanness. Oh you know, yeah. The he dog even Dean-ness. uses again the the guilt trip of my dying wish. My dying know? wish. Yeah, but but Which, Sam calls him out on it. He's like, how many dying wishes do you get? He's yeah, like, as many as I can. Yeah, you know, and Sam can't truly fault him. And uh, this this was a good line. I mean, it was gross because he calls her Gumby Girl. He's mm-hmm. like, "Ooh, does that make me pokey?" Which <laughs> hysterical, absolutely a hysterical <laughs> line. But I'm like, "Good God, Dean!" <laughs> you know, I guess so. But wasn't Pokey his, Gumby's horse? Yes, the sidekick, but. I mean, if you're going to put two things, two characters together, Gumby and Pokey. I understand, but it was just like, how would, but that would mean that Pokey yeah. is, is Poke and Gumby, which was <laughs> not a good image I would have in my head. Maybe just the name because it was so perfect. It doesn't mean he was Pokey. Well, all right. Well, maybe then even funnier that Dean had to question whether or not he was Pokey. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sam gets dropped off by his lonesome at a motel, the Cicero Pines Hotel. Yeah, that that Dean like barely rolls to a stop in order for, yeah. for Sam to get out. <laughs> He's like revving the engine, and Dean, I mean, Sam can't get his stuff like out of the car fast enough. Before Dean's like, "Bye." Um, I loved this little motel though. Just on the outside, mm-hmm. there was so much crammed into the image of Sam standing in front of this motel. Yeah. But the one thing that I zoomed in on for me personally was that the sign had all of this camping gear hanging from it. Just uh, like the enamel uh, camping pot stove stuff and enamel mm-hmm. pots and cups and stuff. <laughs> and it was also up like, you know, two stories up in the air of the sign. I was like, put all this camping gear <laughs> you know, <laughs> hanging up there. Anyway, so of course I am left by his lonesome. While Dean Dean drives off for his long lost booty booty call. Yes. And she opens the door and is very shocked to see him. And quite frankly, I don't blame her. (laughs) Like the reaction of her is just like Uh, I mean, yeah, we she wasn't we hooked up like eight years ago. She doesn't say that, but her face is just like Okay. Uh I mean I remember you, but um What's going right. on? And she's not showing any kind of signs. They are not on the same page because Dean is sitting there making his little eyeballs and his eyebrows <laughs> and his yeah. like, how you doing? Hey, how you moves. doing? Yeah. Yeah. And, and she's, she's like, just mm-hmm. like, well, uh, she, I mean, she didn't say, who are you? You know, she's like, Dean. And she smiled. She's like, hey, yeah. Dean. And then she's like, oh, wait, wait, what are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's going on? And I just love how. Uh, like Dean, Dean is in these moments because he's just like, he's got nothing to lose. So it's like, what are the chances of him showing up eight years later? And she's not married or she the, lives I in know, the same the place. The hubris of this guy. Yes. <laughs> but at the same time, if he has nothing to lose, you know, yeah. why not? 
I mean, he, she obviously had a good time too. (laughs) Yes. Based on what the women say later. (laughs) Yes. Yes. He does have a reputation amongst all the neighborhood housewives of uh, the best night of my life, Dean. Yes. Um, So she, (laughs) no, she has not forgotten him. She remembers him fondly, but, uh, but still it's, it's an odd that's a long amount of time <laughs> to just like, show up and then kind of invite silent. himself into the house. Yes. She says she's, she's like, having a party and yeah, he's like, well, I love parties. She's and, like, okay. He goes. Enjoy my eight year old son's <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> but yeah. So Dean welcomes himself <laughs> into the backyard where there is clearly a child's party going on. There's bounce house, there's balloon, there's kids running around with cake. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the like the moms the house moms are enjoying the view of dean's backside and then they start to talk about the whole like well that you heard him say she this is dean this is the dean that she's been talking about and dean turns around and sees these two women like staring at him (laughs) he's like hey you know how's it going and like if they didn't if they weren't just sitting there looking at him they would have been licking him (laughs) I want to know what the semi-illegal thing that he did. I want to know what that was. Right? Right. Okay, so then Dean spots Ben. And we get a very cute scene here. Oh, cute. the two of them side ben. by side. And I love the, the kid who plays Ben. So cute. Yes. Can't even stand yes. it. He did such a good job. Yeah. So Dean it's... strikes up some conversation with him. He says, like, hey, cool party. <laughs> And, yeah, right. and, and Ben's ben, like, I know, right? Yeah, it's wicked <laughs> cool, epic. And just like throwing out these <laughs> Deanisms. Deanisms. Well, earlier Dean saw him like open up a present. And the kid's like, AC Doocy rules. <laughs> He's like all excited about getting an AC Doocy CD. Uh, and then there was a moment where they're both eating cake, and then a mom and her daughter walk by. They both <laughs> turn around and like eyeball them walking out. As they eat a piece of cake. Apparently, that move was uh, not scripted. That was something that Phil Screecha, like, threw out on the day. He's just like, ooh, what if we did this? Like, all those little moments that Dean and Ben have when they do the same things at the same time. That was all, like, Phil, like, throwing it in. Just a nice touch. It was really cute. And it wasn't overdone. It wasn't overdone. No, no, very subtle. But enough for Dean to, because Ben, like, escapes into the moon bounce. um, Because it attracts chicks. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. That's right. He's like, you know who else likes moon bounces? The chicks. Yeah. (laughs) And Dean's like, how did he... Hmm. Yes, yeah. and, and then, you then see he kind of like... you see him like start to do I call it sex math in his head. <laughs> it's <just> like <laughs> <laughs> okay, kid turn this kid is turning eight, eight. you know, uh, which includes like nine months of gestation. And if I met this girl between eight and nine years ago, oh shit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, yeah, and he, he literally does an oh shit like turn. I got to go talk to to Lisa, and it's like he knocks over a trash can on his way yeah. down the stairs. It's like. All remnants of like his coolness, of Dean's coolness, gone. Gone. I also love that uh, he, he's like can't make decisions. You know, he's like I'm gonna go this way, and no, I'm gonna go this way. He, you know, he yeah, just doesn't yeah. know who he is or where to go no. in, in this in this situation. <laughs> yeah. So in the meantime, while Dean is looking for Lisa, Lisa has welcomed the the mother of the dead guy <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh and little katie katie is the one who threw a fit about staying at her dad's has welcomed them into the house they're there for the party and she's like you know hey how's everything going you know i know you guys have had a hard time and the mom whose name is uh, uh dana is that her name dana she's just listed as katie's mom in uh on imdb <laughs> okay i looked it up and it said dana and there's oh. even a last name and i don't remember the last name but anyway so the mom of katie uh is clearly you know disturbed about something and uh and is like um i think there's something wrong with katie and you know lisa misinterprets that as in you know well her father just died of course she's Mm -hmm. probably you know not herself think she's devastated and katie's mom's like no 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 i don't think this is katie you know how do you admit that like how do you start that conversation with somebody you know And, and so she finally she's like no 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 this isn't this isn't my daughter and Lisa, again, misinterprets. It's like, I need to get you some help. 
You, you, yeah. you shouldn't say those things about her. This is a hard time for her. Let's let's get you some help. Right. And Dana's like, said too much. This isn't yeah. working out. Yeah. You know, Katie, let's go. And in the meantime, you see Katie and she's just like standing in the yard, you know, not playing with any kids, just mm-hmm. standing by herself, their head kind of tilted. And Katie, let's go. And she turns. She's like, well, OK, you know, and walks back to mom. Yeah. And I, I this is the first time I wrote down. Katie just seems creepy. <laughs> I mean, understandably so, if, you know, you were traumatized by your father, you know, dying on a table saw. Well, Dean comes in and he's like p- prodding Lisa a little bit about Ben's age. And, you know, <laughs> well, I eventually. Mean, is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Yeah. A little clumsy with the uh, <laughs> yeah. investigation here. <laughs> yeah. You know, and he's like, is is he mine? And she's like, no. Yeah. Very unconvincing. No. Yeah. From her. <laughs> yeah. And that's when Dean notices Katie and, and her mom leaving. And, and he's like, ooh, something wrong with your friend? Yeah. You know, that was an awkward exit. She's like, well, you know, she explains the story. But then she's like, you know, but it's weird. There's a lot of bad luck happening mm-hmm. in this neighborhood. And, you know, Dean does a little kind of snaps out of his own uh, Deanness and and is back into kind of semi-hunter mode. Like, oh, really? What's been happening? Right. But meanwhile, that is going on. Sam um, is inside another diner uh, pouring <laughs> over more demonic deal notes, things of that nature. Yeah. With a giant, very un-Sam-like sandwich next to him. Yeah. Yeah. Sandwich and fries. <laughs> But it, it is untouched, so I guess it was just a, well, I guess I'll take what you have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. because I got to do this work. But then, mysterious Blondie shows up and sits at yep. him in his little diner booth. And and makes herself at home. <laughs> oh, yeah, helps, like, himself, or helps herself to his fries, including, yep. like, pouring a huge plate of ketchup. Ugh. Now, I don't know if that was supposed to be, like, a big call out to blood. But it oh, was, maybe. I don't know. I was, like, I was like, that's a lot of ketchup. But Sam, he finally gets around to being like, where'd you get the knife? What's the knife? How, you know, yeah. how did you get a, a knife that kills demons? And she's like, oh, Sky Mall, which <laughs> I loved. I used to love those catalogs. It's like the <gasps> Sky Mall. I mean, the amount of hilarious. junk. I junk know. in it that was so overly priced but in the back of my mind whenever I, I was like oh you know what i really do want a lord of the rings gold <laughs> ring inscribed with elven blah 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 i was like <laughs> i do need a life-size re- replica of the millennium falcon you know for four thousand right. dollars right. yeah these crazy like gadgets that nobody needs so i thought that was very very funny yes, um, yes. but blondie knows again knows all about sam not just his name but knows all about him knows all about yellow eyes um calls sam the antichrist at which point sam is like uh what yeah (laughs) and doesn't really follow up with that either she's just like oh yeah i know about your your psychic powers and yellow eyes and your mom's friends you know and that makes sam go what what do you mean, yeah. my mom's what friends? What do you mean, mom's These friends? powers, I haven't had any visions since, you know, Yellow Eyes was gone. So <laughs> She mentions, like, Anthony Michael Hall. Like, I know about your Anthony Michael Hall. I did which... not know that reference. Oh, uh, Anthony Michael Hall. We, do you know who he is yes. as an actor? Okay, so, like, Breakfast Club and yes, I know you know, Weird is. Science. Well, he also had a TV show called um, The Dead Zone, which was based on the Stephen King book. Uh. So he was he was somebody who I think he was either struck by lightning or something and became like psychic. He was like a school teacher who then because he was psychic, he started to be he became like a psychic detective. Um, I thought it was actually a pretty good show. It didn't last very long. Um, It's a very obscure reference. then. (laughs) (laughs) But here's a little six degrees for you, which um, I appreciate. You may not. he had a recurring bit role on Psych, which of course is a, a psychic mm. detective, which mm-hmm. I went, aha, that's why um. he was on Psych. It's because they were referencing, they were shouting out his show as a psychic detective back in the 80s or 90s. Got it. Got it. So anyway, I was like, oh my God, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> so Blondie leaves Sam with that information that 
something happened with mom's friends. You know, basically says, all right, you do some Googling and then get back to me. Gives him her number. Mm-hmm. Oh, and by the way, there actually is a job here in town, just so you know. Yeah. yeah. You know. And right on cue, that's when Dean calls and said, dude, there's totally a job here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, there's been more deaths than just this guy who, like, fell on his table saw. Somebody fell off a ladder and died. Somebody drowned in their pool, you know, and, and other things that, that weren't mentioned, like, weren't in the police reports or weren't in the headlines or something like that. Yeah. So the next thing we see is uh, Katie's mom asleep on the couch, having, like, apparently fallen asleep reading a book which mm-hmm. is The Historian by uh, Elizabeth, uh, what's her name, Kostova. Do you know yeah. what that book is? No, I meant to look it up. <laughs> it's a vampire book. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so something I like to curl up with after my husband's been killed is a vampire novel. Um, but it's supposed to be very good. It's supposed oh, okay. to be very, very good. Yeah. But she wakes up and is kind of groggy, but sits up from the couch only to see katie like watching her sitting like right next to her watching yeah just staring at her in a very like creepy intense kind of way you know and she's very clingy like mommy play with me let's go play i love you mommy mommy robot oh i hate it hate it hate it and then as uh, katie you know is doing a little clingy action with her mother she sees in the reflection of katie's like skin like her arms and legs because she can't see her face and the skin in the mirror of katie is it's almost like like a like a corpse that has been in water for too long you know it's like that yes that's pale and bloated but veiny and like slimy almost and almost slimy falling off like yeah it almost looked like it would just slide off her bones yeah yeah yep and then then they had this great fake jump scare moment she then takes Katie by the arms and like shoves her away from her so she can look at her face. And I was like, yeah. oh my God, what's it going to be? <laughs> and it's nothing. It's just Katie's no, face just again. Katie. So it's only what you see. You only see this thing in the reflection of the mirror, but only that one time, because when she looked back in the mirror, Katie was, you only saw Katie. Right. But I was like, it was totally a jump scare moment that was like a fake out. And now her mom is pretty freaked out. Yes. Not only is Katie acting weird, now she looks weird right right meanwhile sam uh as an insurance agent our first (laughs) alias of the episode um is at another neighbor's house investigating one of the the mysterious deaths that has happened he this husband has um fallen out off of his ladder or out the window and while sam is looking around he sees these a couple of red smudgy marks on the windowsill he sees yep. a, another creepy child just staring at him from inside the house, like through a window. Yep. And as the mother turns to leave and says, you know, you know, thanks for coming. Bye. He sees like a crazy bite. A hickey? Like a hickey yeah. almost? <laughs> yeah. Like on the back of her neck. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, oh, hmm. Now here's a question. <laughs> I, I truly got confused by this. This is not me like throwing out a gotcha. I, which by the way, I never intend to do, but it always comes out that way. So the mom says, the woman says that he was changing a light bulb inside. She literally says he was inside changing a light bulb. So, and he somehow fell out the window. Why was there a ladder outside the house leaning up against the side of the house? If he was inside changing a light, that this is what confused me. Why was there a ladder? Yeah. If he was inside changing, you know, I get the whole accident that he lost his balance and fell out the window and died. Fine. Right. Why was there a freaking ladder outside the house? That's funny. I just thought of that as I was saying it to you, like in the microphone here, like there's oh. a ladder. But then I was like, but wait, didn't she say he was like inside doing something yeah. and he fell? <laughs> yeah, because at first I was like, oh, he fell off the ladder. But then when she, then she was like, but he was inside. I'm like, I, okay. Maybe, maybe she never got the line right. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can only reach that level of the floor with, <laughs> with the ladder coming from the outside. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Especially since the ladder was below the window. <laughs> <laughs> you may 
made for a good angle for you to like yes. see the see the smudge on the windowsill, yeah. a smudge lower, and then seeing the child's face in the window below the, the ladder yeah, and yeah, yeah. creepy child. So just as a side a side note that I noticed, all the moms in this episode are wearing purple. And I don't know why. Mm. And not all the same purple, some different levels of purple, but all the women, all the mothers in this episode are wearing purple. Hmm. I don't know why. I just thought it was interesting. Make of it what you want, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so in the meantime, yeah, back at yeah. Katie's house, Mama, Mama of Katie is making grilled cheese, which again, I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry. I know. Because um, all I'm seeing in this episode is food. Everybody's eating in this episode. Yes. Um, but the grilled cheese is what really kind of put me over the edge of like, I am so hungry. <laughs> um, so she makes Katie this grilled cheese and is like, here, eat. <laughs> you yeah. know? And goes and like locks herself in the bathroom, I guess, for just some alone time. She needs to think about well, what she just she's, saw in while the mirror. She's making, while she's making the grilled cheese, she's rubbing the back of her neck. And the scene right before that, oh. we see the mother with the crazy like hickey thing on her neck. Oh, so I she's that. like okay. really intensely rubbing her neck and then like gives the grilled cheese to Katie. He's like, eat, stay, you know? <laughs> yeah, leave, leave mommy <laughs> alone, back. please. Yeah. Locks herself in the bathroom to then check out what she's feeling on the back right. of her neck. And she sees the hickey. Yeah. The thing. And she's like, holy crap. Yeah. And while she fuck? notices that, then Katie starts banging on the bathroom door. And not just like banging on the bathroom door, like, almost like maniacally going to knock this door down yeah mommy 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 let me in what are you doing bang 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 bang. i'm like turning the knob and turning the the knob um like super scary banging yeah like if this is a child banging on the door i would be i i not horrified i would be i would be scared and part of me would actually yell back i would be like (laughs) get off the door what are you doing leave mommy alone (laughs) you know but i'm not a mom so i don't have that um that controlled response, <laughs> you know. Um, but I'm thinking Katie's going to knock that door down. Just, yeah. you know, mommy, mommy, let me in. Mommy, mommy, what are you doing? Ugh. Yeah. But. And lucky for Katie's mom, the doorbell rings. <sighs> which, like, like immediately Katie starts, stops, stops banging on the door. Yeah. And then we find it's the realtor, that one of the realtor horny housewives from, <laughs> from earlier <laughs> staring right. at Dean's ass. Um, yes. she's come there with a condolence basket, you know, of yeah. muffins and treats and things, but yeah. also to scope out what Katie's mom's plans are for the house. Right. I mean, Jesus, I want to know if you were planning on selling right away or and Katie's like, not a good time. Yeah. Not it's a good, not a, Katie. Such Katie's a realtor like, thing yeah. to do. Yeah. I would have liked that basket of muffins. It's, oh yeah. Again, food, mm-hmm. but Thankfully, Katie's mom is like, you know, not cool. Not a good time. Fuck yeah. off, basically. Yeah. Slams the door <laughs> in, in crazy realtor's face. Takes the muffins, though. And when she turns around, there's Katie standing in the hallway. And she's like, Mommy, I want ice cream. You know, no no connection to what's happening. You know, who was that at the door? You know, why did she give us muffins? No, just, Mommy, I want ice cream. Yes. Creep. Great. Creepy. Creepy. And I feel so bad for this woman, for this, uh, for this mom. Oh yeah, because she's like, "What is happening? Like, what yes. is this? And What's she's happening to me? on her own because she's already tried to describe to a friend. It's like, listen, something weird is happening with my kid. In that, yeah. I don't. She, it's like invasion of the body snatchers. Like, this is not my child. <laughs> and she wasn't believed. So she is what else? now. She's, she's on like, her own. She's she is on her own. Like, um, and then how can you describe to someone who's like, no, her skin looked like um, <laughs> like that I, yeah, in the she mirror. She looks like a monster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the next thing we see is, I, I'm assuming they're outside of Lisa's house. Um, we see, or at a park for some mm-hmm. reason, Dean is going to get into the car, but he notices Ben sitting by himself on a park bench looking a little dejected. And uh, goes over to Ben, which I this is like, for me, this is a throwback to when he sat down um, for, what was it? Um, Dead in uh, the Dead Water, the Water. With Lucas. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. He just has this connection with little boys. Yeah. Um, and and I appreciated that he went over and sat next to him. Not to be like, hey, buddy, what's going on? But like, hey, what's what's going on? Yeah. You know, are you, are you okay? 
And, uh, and Ben confides him and he's like, you know, I, I lent my game to that boy over there and he won't give it back. And I'm like, Oh, bullies, man. I hate, I hate kid bullies. Oh, (laughs) this is Dean tries to be like, Oh, you want your game back? And Ben's like, no, 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 you can't, you can't go and get my game back for me. You know, he's got his code and it's something yeah. about like, you know, don't be a bitch. Don't send an adult to go do your job. That makes you a bitch. Yeah. You know, and he's like, yeah, you're right. And Ben's like, yeah, and I'm not a bitch. <laughs> so Dean comes up with a plan. And uh, the next thing we see is Ben hopping off the bench and walking towards the, uh, the group of bullies who are playing his game. And this is one of my oft used memes is Dean sitting on the bench and giving Ben the thumbs up. Yes. Like, Go get him, Tiger. I do. I, I see use that, that gif all the time. <laughs> all the time. Yes. And I didn't realize where it came from. So I am learning a lot about my, <laughs> <laughs> my, my stolen images. I'm learning yeah. where they came from. Um, and I love this. I'm like, oh, he's going to go do something. Ben tries to first talk to the bully like, hey, can I have my game back? And the bully is like, yeah, take it starts to walk away and the bully's like yeah i knew it you're just like a, a wuss or whatever ben turns around and full-on knees this kid in the balls twice <laughs> yeah. twice takes him down takes his game walks away leaves this kid like rolling around in the grass holding his his junk which in general i love it when the bully gets their own <laughs> but I have to admit that as an adult, I'm like, "Uh," you know, shouldn't be teaching kids to, you know, knee each other in the balls. Right, right. But it does make for funny TV. Absolutely. I mean, Dean high fives him. He's like, yeah, he got his game back. You know, the kid deserved it. He he absolutely deserved it. I am not I am not backing down on that at all. I think bullies deserve anything they get. Honestly, Mm -hmm. I know they're kids and they're misunderstood. They don't know why they bully. Fine, but you know what? Bullies grow up to be bullies, you know, unless they're needing the balls younger. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> Lisa, however, not so not, thrilled no. with the with the events that just unfolded. No. And I can't blame her. As much as I support Dean and I love the Deanness of everything that just happened, Dean is not Ben's father and should <laughs> not have No. Uh, he has he has zero business teaching this kid life lessons, as Lisa exactly. tells him so. And yes. now she's just like really impatient she's like i don't even know what you're still doing here we spent a night together a million years ago and now you just show up and now you're like trying to teach my kid things that i don't approve of get out of here she's pissed i don't i don't blame her no i don't blame her at all who is this guy they spent a weekend together so lisa and ben leave but before they fully walk away ben peels off runs back to dean and is like thank you Mm -hmm. and gives him a hug you know, which I thought was super sweet. You know, sweet. here's here's the other image that I liked about this is that Ben walks away with his mom holding her hand. He pulls mm-hmm. away, runs back to her and takes her hand again. And I thought that was really telling. I thought that was really telling about the relationship between Ben and Lisa. Mm-hmm. You know, he's not a mama's boy, but he is only eight and he still loves his mom. Yeah. You know, and they, they still have that connection. And I thought that was really telling. You yeah, know, it's cute. he wasn't he wasn't trying to, like, show off for his friends by not being, you know, holding his mom's his mom's hand. Yeah, it was cute and it was sweet. And it was it was also just telling that he still needs his mom. Mm-hmm. But um, after Ben, <laughs> Ben gives Dean a hug. Dean's kind of left in the park by himself and he looks around and he notices these like three kids standing off by themselves who just like like slow burn turn. Yeah. And look directly at him. Yeah. You know, and it's like, and creepy kids turn and look <laughs> at Dean. Yeah. And Dean reacts as if, oh, he clocks it. Some creepy kids looking at me. Yeah. Yeah. Not very kid like these kids. Like, <laughs> like, They've had a ball, like a basketball in their hands, but they're, they're just standing with it. with it. Yeah. 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 I was like, okay. very, very Stepford. And I just yep. love, again, you could just tell by the look on Dean's face that those kids are weird. Just by the look on his face. Yeah. Which segues into later that night, Katie's mom is strapping Katie into the backseat of the car. She is 
uh, in nervous breakdown mode. You can tell, you know, because Katie's just like, are we going for ice cream now? And she's like, mm-hmm. yeah. yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, we're going for ice cream. Gets into the car, and then you can see, finally, Katie's face in the reflection of the rearview mirror, which yep. is not Katie, but this horrifying image Her of, face. like, two sunken eyes and, like, a... a sucker mouth. Ca- yeah, sucker mouth. Like, it's just, like, all teeth, basically. Yeah, an open hole. <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Gross. It's disgusting. It's a sucker it mouth. It's really gross. I also uh-huh. thought it was it was really creepy that like as mom was like buckling her into the car as she's trying to like kind of back herself out of the car to get in and drive, Katie's still like reaching for her and holding onto her hair and like mommy, yeah. I love you, mommy, mommy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but yeah, so she as she's driving away with sucker face Katie in mm-hmm. the back seat, she's like she's crying, she's upset. Turns out they're not going for ice cream. No, no. Instead, uh, she approaches a lake gets out of the car but lets the car keep going with katie inside who is not throwing not making a fight or anything just literally turns her head around to stare at her mother as the car drives into the lake now i had a hard time with this scene a because they did it so well Mm -hmm. b because all i could think of was that woman that south carolina mom who drove her children into the lake and drowned them that's all I could think of. Like a real Susan story? Smith. Yeah. Susan Smith. She was this mom who strapped her kids into the minivan and literally did the exact same thing, rolled them into the lake. Uh, and then there was a whole story that somebody car she, she said somebody carjacked them and drove off with their kids. There was like a manhunt. There's this big search for the for the van. Mm-hmm. And then when they found the van with the kids strapped in, it turns out that her, the boyfriend she had just started seeing didn't like children. So she oh killed her children so she could have the boyfriend. Oh my God. I don't remember what year that was. I mean, it's yeah. been, it's been a while. I mean, I'd yeah. say it's at least 15 year, a 15 year old story, but it was such big news because again, she used the trope of a black man high, you know, carjacked me, mm. you know, and it was that, Oh, you know, played the the victim, the white victim. But so that's why I had a hard time watching this because I was like, oh, my God, this is a true story. Um, that's great. Here, I want to look up and see what year that was. 1994. So many years before this. But um, but I also wanted to make a note about the scene because there was a little special feature bit on the DVD of this. There's, oh, yeah. Huh, there's no uh, commentaries this season. Oh, no. <laughs> Your face. Oh my God, Sammy. <laughs> but no. there are like little blips. It looks like, in at least for the first three episodes, they have like these things called like deep dives or last looks or something. Oh. Right? It's just okay. like a short little segment, like an interview with somebody. Um, and this one was Eric Kripke talking about A, I, I, I had kids on the brain because I was just a new father. Like I had a 10 month oh. old kid oh. at the time. Oh my gosh. But no, the, but this episode was purposeful. It was like, I had kids on the brain and I just wanted to do a, a story creepy about kids. Like, <laughs> creepy kids. And it was this scene that they wanted. He was like, in pretty much every we episode we scene. have, yeah, we have a, a must do scene or like a scene that's <laughs> in our heads. We got to get it out. It's got to be done. And then everything else can fall into place around it. But it was like this scene that he needed <laughs> was a scene of a mother drowning her own child. I mean, it was a monster. Like, it was a monster, right. you know. It but... wasn't her child. She knew yeah. it wasn't her child, but still. So like, yeah, that so... tells you how twisted this guy is. He's a new father. <laughs> he's a brand new father. And he's like, oh, man, I have to get a clip of a woman drowning her kid. <laughs> I wonder if that's just because his wife or the mother of the child was like, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you did this to me. I'm going to kill you. Right. Because a part of me. Oh, God. OK, so this is terrible. And not only is like like you said, she lets the car roll into the into the water and Katie demon, Katie, whatever she is, sucker face. Yeah. Katie is like turning and looking at her. That's the last image you see before the water like closes over uh-huh. the car. And the mom just like turns away and is like crushed that she had to do this oh my god yeah you know and starts to walk home uh 
And she gets home and she's still like sobbing and crying she's and broken. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's... it's like, where's her daughter? Not right. only did she just kill something that looked like her daughter, but where's her daughter? Yes. And I'm sure you the know, second guessing of like, wait, what if this was my daughter? You know, right. Right. But alas, no problem because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Katie's back. Yeah. Because sitting at the dining room table or sitting at the bar, you know, the kitchen bar, dripping wet is sucker face Katie, but she's not sucker face. She's just Katie. And she's like, mommy, are you ready for some ice cream now? Or something like that. Yes. And gives the most creepy smile I have ever seen on any human. Yes. <laughs> Adult, yes. She, child, mm-hmm. whatever. Perfect. Perfect. So I just want to shout out this this actress, uh, yeah. Mar- Margot Burns. Her name is Margot Burns. Girl. The little girl, Margot Burns. Brilliant. She was brilliant. Yes. I mean, she did yes. such a good job. All the kids in Supernatural yeah. do such a good job. They really did. But that's also got to be pretty hard is to like, well, you imagine what the direction of that child was. Because you can't really tell a child. You can't tell. You've been possessed by a monster. <laughs> Your mom just tried to kill you. Right. But you've come back, and you still love her. Yeah. So, back at the motel. Yes, back at the (laughs) motel. Sam has found out what it is. Dean comes back in. You know, it's just like, dude, the kids are creepy. And Sam is like, yep, (laughs) here's what they are, which are changelings. That why I looked up, because I, when I was in high school, I read a ton of romance novels. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a lot of them take place in like Scotland and Ireland to, you know, make it all fanciful and stuff. And there's always stories about changelings. Um, and the idea of changelings is that the fairies would take a healthy human baby and replace it with their own sickly baby oh. so that they could then uh, enjoy the love and affection of a human child because fairy children, fairy babies didn't always have that. So human parents if they had a child that was sickly or you know something was wrong with it they just assumed that they had a changeling that their baby was taken by the fairies and replaced with oh wow thing that's the general changeling Uh but supernatural's changeling slightly different which we'll find out but so sam has put his finger on it these are changelings yes that wait changelings are in romance novels yeah, because, well, they're not always just historical romance. There's always the, oh, it's been so long. But, you know, the the hero character, the, the guy is always some sort of, you know, charmed uh, oh. fairy or changeling. Because himself. I read a lot yeah. of fantasy, and I don't think I've ever come across, like, a changeling thing like this. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the lore. That's the mythology. Um, All right, that's where they pull it from. Okay, okay, yeah. good for them. But Supernatural had to do their twist. So yes, which is they can perfectly mimic children. Um, they feed on the mother, as in the real life mother, which explains yep. those little hickey mark things. <laughs> and while they're telling this, and they cut to a scene where. We see Katie's mother sleeping and sucker face Katie turns into sucker face and like leans down and, you know, assumes position. Yeah. Sucks Um, their synovial fluid. Yes. Which is their joint fluid, which I thought was a weird choice of fluids (laughs) (laughs) to need for life sustaining, you know. But I guess it, cause I guess it would be like too vampire like if it was blood. So blood. they just had to find a different kind of <laughs> yeah. fluid. I'm going to. I don't know why they couldn't you. have just said like plasma or something. But right. anyway, it's so they yes. have a hard time bending. Yeah. Up. yeah. And anyone that gets between their food source gets the kibosh. So like the father in Katie's yep. story you know dead Mm -hmm. the father like the father babysitter anyone yeah yeah, anyone that comes in between and um they store their victims somewhere underground who knows why and they are wasted by fire by fire right which of course dean's like great we'll just run into the house grab the kids drag them outside and set them on fire on the lawn (laughs) yeah (laughs) that'll that'll go real that'll go over really well also, so Sam found this out because, like, he was kind of leading the, um, or, or following the lead of the red marks that he found on the window, which he assumed were blood. Right. Um, I assume that's also how he figured out there was a changeling at each of the victim's house, because maybe he went by and found more 
like red marks because smudges. He yeah. just kind of points out there's one in every house, and I was kind of like, how did he know that? <laughs> yeah, well, I guess yeah, I guess he went to the every dead every accident house and yeah. found that there was a kid living there. Yeah, and creepy there kid. Was smudges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So back at the motel, um, there was nothing really like remarkable about this motel. It had this nice kind of red and gold motif mm-hmm, and stuff. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I wrote that down, like a couple scenes later, they're back in the motel. And I was like, whoa, there's a giant like rose planter in the yeah, middle of the I room. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I clocked it like at the end, you know, when S- Sam is in the, the room at the end. And I was like, yeah, because literally at first I, I literally said not a lot of character. <laughs> and then I was like, except <laughs> giant except rose the, planter and then yeah. gold mirror type of. Of thing as yeah it was like a so. gothic dream it was really beautiful <laughs> and i thought that was funny that i was like whoops nope once once sam and dean kind of realized that any kid is vulnerable dean's like fuck i, I gotta go check on ben ben I mean, dean goes back to lisa's house again <laughs> lisa opens the door and it's like ah, what <laughs> you know, yeah. dean why are, you, why are you still here and he's like hey i didn't give give ben a present you know, she's like, I, I don't care. <laughs> you yeah. know, why, why, why? And Dean's just trying to get her out of the house, which she's not, she's not buying into. No, and he's like, take, take, take Ben and go, take Ben and go to King's Dominion or, or Six Flags or whatever it is. And he hands her a credit card, and she's like, <laughs> Zigfried Houdini. Yeah. He's like, he's like, ah, oh, you know, shit. Don't worry about it. It's me. The yeah, card will yeah. work. Just go. And she's like, mm, no, I'm not. I'm not buying into this. Just leave and i i saw the switch like dean is now in full dean hunter mode he's like he's serious you know he's like i you know you could see it on his face this is now i need to save him i need to save you you need to get out of the house yes but you know she doesn't know what's going on behind the scenes so she just sees an increasingly uh pushy and creepy i will say it guy that's just like keeps interfering in her life and her kid's life and then giving him her a crazy credit card, you know, right. to like go away for the weekend. Yeah. Right. I would shut that right. down right then and there. Right. But and luckily, she does because Ben yeah. comes by immediate switch in him too. When he is now starting to sound very robot, like yeah. as he tells Dean to go away, he's like, make him go away. Mommy. Mommy. I don't want him here. Mommy, it's that whole mommy thing. I was like, that's mm-hmm. not even Ben. Ben wouldn't be mommy. But she's like, you heard him. <laughs> yep. Boom. Yep. Slams the door. Bye. A part of me was like, you know, because these moms are so tuned into their kids. I'm surprised that Lisa didn't quite pick up on the change in Ben. Yeah. Um, but she also could have just been so aggravated with Dean that she was like, yeah. thank you for the excuse, dear. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Close the door. <laughs> So Dean, not being deterred, is now looking around the outside of the house, just looking, you know, for signs of the switch, mm-hmm. you know, because he's like, that's not Ben. And yeah. uh, and he sees the the smears that the same smears that that Sam's been seeing. Mm-hmm. So he's like, that's it. Ben's been Ben's been taken. Goes back to Sam and is like, <laughs> OK. And Sam says, oh, did you see blood outside the windows? And Sam's like, Dean says it wasn't blood. I don't think it was blood. It was something else. Yeah. And, and I, think, I know, I think I know where they are. Yeah. And they go back to the, uh, like the entrance of this new housing development, which there's still some houses under construction, mm-hmm. pulls into the driveway of this one under construction house. And there's a giant mound of like red dirt. Aha, red dirt. So the kids are most likely here. I, I was going to say something about um, Hawaii and red dirt, but it doesn't quite fit with the stories. <laughs> So. Well, I also was just like, I'm actually just looking up now. Does Indiana have red dirt? The only red dirt I know of is on Kauai. It's the only. And red Oklahoma dirt. has red dirt too. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, very red dirt. I know Virginia has red clay, because I sunk my truck past the hubs in red clay, in a field. My well, it says Indiana has that. clay in their soil, so maybe it could be red. But um, I'll buy it. But I was thinking, it's like, oh, they should have done this in Oklahoma at the big, the the bugs. Um, oh, right, the construction uh, site. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, we're here again. Yeah. <laughs> we have to investigate this really quick, where the bugs come back. 
So uh, they go through. There's a lot of this like empty house under construction. There's a lot nice. of noises going on <laughs> in the a lot inside. Of, a lot of flashlight. A lot of flashlight <laughs> yeah. moments. Which I yeah, was like, yeah. this is nice. A little flash mm-hmm. work, can- flashlight camera work. Yeah, yeah. Um. They split up. Um, Dean finds real Ben locked yep. in a crate <laughs> in the house. Yeah. Yeah, and they all have, and so, and the other kids are down there too. Yeah, and they have like yeah. little docky bowls of water. Yeah, uh, and Sam finds the realtor. Yes, however, and, <laughs> right, however, and then he sees her reflection in the mirror. Oh, guess what? She's one of these changelings too. She is mother She's the changeling. Adult. Like, yeah, it's like I'm so confused by this whole yeah. process. <laughs> I know. And she tries to be but, like, I'm gonna call the police, you're trespassing, and you know, he's just like, Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm just looking for this. I'm gonna get my <laughs> stuff and go. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna just reach into my bag here for this flamethrower and <laughs> yes, yeah, but, uh, but she's caught on, she's gone before he can actually her. roast her. So Dean breaks Ben out of his cage. And starts to work on the other cages to get the kids out. Um, and as he does, he's like, you know, Ben, help, you know, help mm-hmm. get the kids out. And Ben, yeah. like, steps too. He's like, I'm oh, on yeah. it. He's a little mini yeah. hero. Very yeah. cute. He's like, he's helping them out of their cages. He's comforting them, mm-hmm. you know, but he's also mm-hmm. taking charge. Like, we got to go this way. Come on, let's yeah, see yeah. Let's go. Yeah. You know. So while all this is happening, um, back at Lisa's house, sucker face Ben is now turning clingy and being like, Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy. I love you, mommy. Yep, I love you. And she's like, oh, you're being very sweet. You know, I didn't know that you liked olives again. You know, I thought they were on the bed (laughs) today. And then she sees in the reflection of the coffee table his sucker Sucker face. Sucker face, Ben. Oh, yeah. And it's like, uh, Mm -hmm. oh. (laughs) Yep. Now, And then I think that's when things click for her. I think maybe she was maybe a little bit suspicious underneath, you know, about like, okay, Ben's acting really weird. This is not very much like him. And then when she sees this reflection, I think maybe it really clicks for her. And then she's like, you're not Ben. Right. You're not Ben. What did you do with my son? Right. Right. So she didn't quite, she didn't have quite the, uh, long-winded discovery <laughs> that, yeah, that poor but... Dana went through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now she goes to make a, she goes to make a, a break for it because she confronts Ben. She's like, you're not my son. Where's my son? And he's like, you know, what are you talking about, mommy? I'm, I'm Ben. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she, she's able to like grab her car keys and make a break for it. Mm-hmm. She's just going to run. But as she opens the front door, there's like the Stepford children, yeah. <laughs> standing on, on on her front lawn which a part of me is like you could take them <laughs> you know, i totally thought that um but she decides not to she backs into the house you know yes. and ben's like they don't want you to leave me mommy yes she's you know, really like a- corn like sandwiched in between like this creepy yes. chorus of children and also uh Katie's mom is locked herself in the bathroom yet again, just has the oh. water running because she has really nowhere else to go. And sucker face Katie is now again banging at the bathroom Bang door, the door, shaking it, and it's very intense, this whole thing. Yes. Um, and part of me is like, why is she running water? <laughs> I think just to drown out uh, the, banging, the screams the as much as she possibly can, yeah. yeah. So back at the uh, the construction house, Mommy Changeling comes back and proceeds to beat the shit out of both yeah. both Dean and Sam. Yeah. With, there was there was a lot of um knees to the balls in this episode. Oh my god. Yeah. She beats them to hell. Yeah. It was amazing. Um yeah. so Ben is still continuing to help the kids out. He <laughs> he lifts up a giant five gallon bucket of paint. Uh, yeah, which no use way a, a little eight-year-old step, kid can do right. that. But <laughs> right. I worked in the paint department. Full. No, I, put, I worked at the paint department <laughs> at Lowe's. Those things are fucking heavy. There is no way a child could lift it. Could unless it was it. maybe like a quarter full. Than the... Oh, God. Well, maybe he's got adrenaline. He's Ben! Yeah, he's little Ben. But yeah, he's able to stack up paint cans, climb out of a window that, that Dean had you know, broken, smashed with a with his flashlight. And even Ben was like, here, use my jacket to like cover all the broken glass so no one yeah. cuts themselves as they climb out the window. It's like, oh my God, Ben. <laughs> you know, so cool. Um finally is, 
yes, able to, Dean's able to get the like upper hand. Yes, on this changeling woman, knocks her back enough that Sam's able to light the blowtorch and mm-hmm. and torture, which was and awesome. It was awesome. And now because the mother changeling is torched, now all of the uh, changeling children start getting. Oof torched Oof. vicariously <laughs> through her yeah <laughs> they, they all burst into flames Poof. yep but but they leave with a i love you mommy Poof. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for dana the like everything becomes quiet the banging on the door stops mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know and for uh lisa you know she just she sees watches ben, her like, child get burst into flames, into flames. <laughs> but I mean, then she knows like, it's not her child but still that's got to be pretty hard to see yeah. <laughs> a little taken aback but she was also cornered i mean she was like back literally back yeah. into a corner yeah. by him so who knows yeah. what he was gonna do i know so by the way they did answer the question of why the changeling uh stores their victims alive instead of just killing them it's so the mother changeling can feed on the live children Still, it's still a weird kind of circle back, but yeah, I get it. It took it was, it was hard for me to wrap my brain around that one. So Dean and Sam bring the real Ben back to Lisa, who is oh so grateful. Dean, you know, it's just like I mean, I could explain to you, but I don't know if if you, you really want me to. <laughs> yeah, but he does. He does. He does. Yeah. Sam. It. Sam reads the room and he says, "Okay, <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna give you guys some space." Mm-hmm. But Dean, they, I love this. They, back in the house, like Ben is like, he's got his earphones on. He's watching mm-hmm. some screen. He's got a sandwich. So he's mm-hmm. like, he's in, in his own little world, which I love. So he's like rocking out and eating yeah. a sandwich. And Dean's still like, are you sure he's not? Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, no, he's, he's really not yours. I did a blood test. You know, there was this guy, you know. Who was just like you. Guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But she is grateful. But, you know, she sees Dean differently because he did save, you know, save Ben and she invites him to stay a little longer. Yeah. And I don't think she meant for a booty call. I think she meant, you know, let's let's reconnect, you know. Yeah, I I think think so, too. For a single mom to invite somebody back into your life is a big thing, especially because you've got, you know, she's got a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, and... he did prove himself pretty worthy by saving his life. She also does clock that he looks disappointed that Ben wasn't actually his. And then I think it hit Dean, and he says something about this. Like, what is the legacy that he's going to leave when he goes? He doesn't really go into the reality of the situation. He was just like, hey, something right. kind of happened, which just made me rethink some things. What you am know, I leaving behind All I have a is car. a car. Um, but she's but she nails it on the head she's like well ben wouldn't be alive if it weren't for you so it's not a matter of what you leave behind you know progeny wise it's it's your effect on people yeah it's your effect on the world that you're leaving behind yeah so that's your legacy right right and i think he accepts that i mean i think he's like it's to hear it said back to him you know from somebody else that wasn't his brother yeah yeah so it's it's reaffirming to him Mm mm-hmm I mean, I feel bad for Dean. And like you said, his micro, his micro facial acting mm-hmm. in this episode, not only in the beginning is comical, but, you know, in these scenes, it's like, you know, you saw his disappointment because it was, it was, it was managed, but you still saw it. And that's yeah. how you know that Lisa saw it. And mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I really liked the Lisa character. Oh, I love Lisa. I really liked I mean, she's Lisa beautiful. Character. She's, you know, sassy. She's, um, she's tough. You yeah. know, she's a single mom. She's doing, she's existing on her own. Yeah. You know, she's, she can close the door in Dean's face, <laughs> you know? Right. Pretty easily. <laughs> yeah. Like, but Dean um, but, does regretfully decline her offer. Yeah. I, you know, I see you in the house. I see you with the kid. He's like, I would have been proud to be Ben's father, but it's not my, it's not my life. It's, yeah. I, <sighs> now meanwhile um, sam has been doing a lot of fact checking and research back in this gorgeous motel room this is where i really saw the motel room yeah yeah we do but there's a montage of him like listing names locations causes of death he's like on the phone constantly you know double checking these identities and these names and these incidents the dejection on his face when he's like done with this montage, you know, because you can tell he's been at this for a while. Wow. 
Yeah, that all of mom's friends slash acquaintances are dead and they died suspiciously. Yeah. You know, like a, a heart a heart surgeon died of a heart attack and nobody knows why. And anybody who did know why is also dead. Gone. Yeah. And Blondie is back. She He obviously called her up to be like, all right, I, I did my homework. Let's talk. Yeah. And she's there in the motel room. Yeah. And he is confiding in her that everything you just told me is true. I looked it up. What the hell is going on? Yeah. You know, how did you know this? What, you know, who are you? And she's like, I'm just here to help you. No, yeah. who are you? Why are you here? Who are you? And finally, I mean, he's like in her face, leaning over. Adamant. Her. Adamant about her telling the truth because she's still just trying to brush it off. It's like, it's not a big deal. I'm just a hunter. And he's like, no, no, no. Hunters just what? don't know these things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of hunters and they don't know literally everything about my my past and my life. Who yeah. are you? Blink closes her eyes. Opens her eyes. Black eyed demon. She's a demon. She's oh, a no. demon. And D- Sam's like, huh? You know, yeah. and he like r- goes rummaging through his, you know, his backpack for like holy water right away. And she's like, whoa, whoa, you know, hold the holy water. <laughs> I'm actually here to help you. And he's like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. You're a demon. And <laughs> she's so flippant. She's like, that's racist. Um, <laughs> I really want to help you if you can trust me. Um, but she says she doesn't know. She doesn't know what happened to the friends. Like, she doesn't know how they died. She wants to help him find yeah. out what really happened. Yeah, so the only thing that she really knows about this whole thing is that it's centered around Sam. And she's like, this mm-hmm. is all about you. They were all there to protect you. They all died because they knew about you. Yep. That's all I can give you. And if, you know, I have my reasons for helping you, but I do want to help you. Now, here's where some of my confusion came in again, because she says specifically, they're trying to cover up what he did to you. Now, the he is yellow eye demon. They are trying to Mm -hmm. cover up what the yellow eye demon did to you. And of course, I flash back to the whole, you know, blood Mm -hmm. dripping into the Mm -hmm. baby's mouth. But my question is, they're trying to cover up. I'm like, who? Who is trying to cover up? Is it whoever killed the friends of, of mom? Or was she referring to the friends were trying to cover up what was done to Sam? Like, were no, mom's I would friends? A, I, would assume, I would assume that it's, like, yellow-eyed minions covering up what they what yellow eyes did to Sam. Okay. Okay, because which explains I would them assume killing that, off like, all of... Yeah, okay. yeah. Because it was just, maybe mom's friends knew something... You yeah. know, maybe they figured it out. Maybe she told them. Maybe they had something to do with it. But they want absolutely no evidence of it ever happening. The, meaning demon, the minions. Got it. We don't know. I guess that's that's a, a question. <laughs> and she's like, I just want to pop in from time to time and help you. So I'm like, that's foreshadowing right there. That's boop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Sam is like, why? What? What could you possibly have that I would accept your help on anything? You're a demon. And headline, (laughs) she says, I can help you save your brother. Credits. Yes. Discordant audio sounds, you know. (laughs) (laughs) That's not a happy ending right there. So, So we still don't know who Blondie is. We know she's a demon. We don't know who she is. We know why she's there, supposedly, to help. Sam, but she is a demon. So, mm-hmm. and so now I'm like, ooh, what's coming next? I mean, yeah. this, it's going to get dark for Sam. I mean, it's already dark because of his discoveries about the, you know, his mom, mom's friends all dying, you yeah. know, without a trace, basically. And he's already started lying to Dean, even about little things. And now he's mm-hmm. been talking to a demon. You know, what's he going to say to Dean? Right. You know, about this particular day. <laughs> you know? Right. Right. I think up until the point where she says, I can help you save your brother, that he probably would have told Dean everything. Ish. You know, he still hasn't told Dean about the, you know, what Yellow Eyes showed him in that, you know, he's right. been fed but, demon yes. blood as a baby. And right. and uh, the whole mom thing. Actually, you're right. Maybe he wouldn't tell him anything. Maybe be like, oh, there's this crazy woman that's after me. She's a demon. Help me kill her. That's probably would have yeah. been the extent yeah. of it. <laughs> 
So great episode. I loved watching mm-hmm. Dean's discomfort, you know, in the beginning. He was kind of cute and, and clumsy. Um, but it was also fun to see him uh, transition out of like confused potential daddy guy mm-hmm. into back into Dean Hunter guy. Right. You know, into protector mode. And I, I liked I liked that little arc. And again, the kids were great in this episode. Uh, who was the, the little boy who played Ben? Um, um, something Elias. Yeah, Nicholas Elia. Yeah, Margot Byrne and Cindy Sampson as Lisa Braden. Mm-hmm. Great cast. Great cast. And I forgot to write down the woman who played uh, Katie's mom because I thought she was pretty fantastic too. Yeah, she is... Um... But she's in a bunch of things because she looks really familiar to me. Kathleen Monroe. But she's in a lot of like Law and Order, NCIS, Chicago Fire, does a lot of those things. Okay. Um, and like other various like little movies, but a very recognizable face. Uh, Cindy, she was in, I think I've talked about it before on this podcast. It was a show about, I forget what it's called. Um,. Oh, Reaper or something like that, um, where it's like the son of Lucifer. It's like a, a, one of the spawn of Lucifer. He had like an affair with a mortal woman and like there was a, <laughs> she had a son. And then once he turned 18, like the devil came to him and said, OK, now you got to help me uh, reap Kill people? souls for hell or something like that. It's a, it's oh a my comedy. Gosh. No, it's a oh, comedy. Okay. It's very funny. But uh uh cindy the girl who plays lisa she was on like a couple episodes as one of his little hot demon chicks <laughs> <laughs> i need to check that I'm out like, oh, that's kind of funny yeah right since you came from <laughs> <Type> supernatural <cast. laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah All i right. also really like this episode and i was um like i said last time i was like surprised that it she showed up this soon because yes. spoiler alert, alert, she will come back. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this week. Um, we'll see you next week for Bad Day at Black Rock, another episode where I'm like, oh my god, this person shows up. Uh, oh, yeah. So ramping up uh, season three with the uh, guest stars, I guess. Yay. Um, yeah. And, oh wait, wait. I know exactly which episode this is. Oh, do you? Okay, I, I'm now. I need to. I need to go watch it now because I'm like, who? Who comes back? Who is it? So, uh, please follow us, rate us. Oh, she looks very cute. I'm sorry, I was not trying to ignore you with the dog. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> She's like, put me down. Uh, please follow us, subscribe to us, rate us on um, everywhere you can find podcasts. You can also follow us, engage with us on social media. We are at Salt and Burn This everywhere. Um, I know (laughs) that is so much easier to say and uh, we'll see you next week bye bye